without knowing why God blesses. Write this down. The first thing that we have to deal with this morning is why does God bless in the kingdom? And, and, and I say this with all due respect, this is where I have a little problem with my brothers and sisters around the world that teach on wealth and prosperity. I think this is where we have missed it. You will raise a carnal, a gullible, and an almost godless congregation if all you teach people is just to make money without helping them understand why God blesses in the kingdom. The reason why gives value to everything we are talking about are we together now so you see people do a lot of funny things a car just passes people go and lie down on it and claim and do this and people tell a lot of lie a young man who has just hundred thousand home and abroad will buy a suit of seventy thousand and bring to church and say the word is working you see we have to be careful that is not the kingdom's way of doing things is a mistake we must understand why God blesses write this down please three reasons why God blesses us in the kingdom number one God blesses us to enable us live a comfortable life God blesses us in the kingdom to enable us live a comfortable life it is the will of God that we be comfortable as we serve him that's why sacrifice is an exceptional thing because you were not designed that way are we together many of us are so used to suffering it is not in the scope of our experience that God wants to make life comfortable it is the will of God for us to be comfortable whilst we serve him number two and this is the major reason why God blesses us in the kingdom for the purpose of financing God's agenda please write it down kingdom advance financing God's agenda is one of the major reasons why God blesses us the reason why he gave them the gold of Egypt was so that they could build a tabernacle in the wilderness when it was time for the tabernacle God made a clarion call all of you bring the gold that gold that you brought from Egypt was for the purpose of building the temple kingdom financing did you know let me tell you something believers and i say this with all love and honor to the body of christ did you know it's a shame to have to coerce believers to bring financial resources for kingdom advance it's a shame it should be part of your spiritual growth process the way you learn to fast the way you learn to pray the way you learn to study the word right in islam i come from the north in islam a little child is indoctrinated into growing up to understand that kingdom advance is a necessary responsibility that your afterlife even depends on so you will see a hardened smoker somewhere but he knows that something from him should go to the kingdom right now you have to coerce and sometimes people are pressured to even have to tell lies no believers we must be mature to understand that the purpose of rights kingdom rights is for responsibilities you know your rights but you must know your responsibility are we together now and then number three the third reason why God blesses us in the kingdom is to give us an opportunity to reveal the love of God to a dying world. God gives us an opportunity through the instrumentation of wealth and prosperity to reveal the love of God to a depraved and a dying world. Think of how many people's school fees you can pay with the blessing of the Lord upon your life. Think of how many people you can house. Think of how many lives you can change. It's amazing to know that in this country there are people that sleep without eating. Are we together now? While there's excess in your kitchen, there's someone hoping and praying that you would find something anywhere. We are the light of the world, the Bible says. Not just the light of the church. We are a city that is set on a hill that cannot be hidden. When you get to a particular level of influence as an individual and as a church, the community must begin to partake of the grace of Christ revealed. And that without prejudices, that without any kind of religious consideration. All and sundry, everybody that lives within your environment must be able to see a reflection of Christ through you. And the greatest way to do that is to come in with resources, with love from Jesus. I'm a Muslim, yes, with love from Jesus. I'm a drug addict, yes, with love from Jesus. Where is he? In heaven. But he sent an ambassador and we're empowered to reveal his love.
is God speaking to us yes this is the reason why God blesses us in the kingdom if you know why and you are ready to subscribe to the why then you are ready to experience God's dimension of wealth and abundance pastor there are many people who have tasted of the blessings of God but they have disappointed the kingdom because they believe that all there is to money is just buying cars and houses and living a luxurious life that is important but then they have ignored the kingdom are we together they have ignored the kingdom imagine it is my prayer that a few people will rise from this church and override one year's financial bill of this church and be quiet it's not an issue do we talk about it no 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 let the lord be praised how would you feel that you sit down and look at your dear father and mother and they say i failed in life i didn't have the opportunity to go to school but they say mama let me give you an opportunity to live in a house of your own before you go to be with the lord if you failed in life your assignment was to give birth to me and so you fulfill destiny let me take over from there are you getting what i'm saying yes I say with all humility, my parents are alive fortunately for me. They are old, they are alone at home. I take care of them. It's part of the reasons why they are alive. Their job is to join all the priests and the people that speak over my life to pray for me. I've, you've heard me say it, if my mother coughs, I will buy her a pharmacy, not a drug. <laughs> her assignment was to give birth to me. Some of us have caused pain for our parents. They labored, struggled over you, and now you have joined them in the pain. And you are even asking, Mama, please, I saw you hiding one thirty thousand. Can you help me? I will, I will give you one day. And they go to their graves sad. And then we hold a memorial. You see, maybe this message is not for everybody, but I know there's someone seated while you are listening to me. God is saying, Look, you have gotten the area of the anointing. By the grace of God, you are born again. But this is the missing link to your destiny. The gate of your destiny is ready to be opened, but you are not yet prepared to get there. Why does God bless us? To live a comfortable life, to advance the kingdom. Hallelujah, hallelujah. I know you have listened to that message keenly and you have taken something home. It is good to understand why does God bless? Why does God give you blessing that you have? And why does you need the blessing of God? It has been explained well in that sermon. Please, as Christians, let us get the right message from the people that are speaking the truth of the word of God and embrace this truth and for sure, as we live on, we shall live a successful life and a life that is full of Jehovah in our lives. Thank you so much, Apostle Joshua Selman. God bless you so much. And if you love this man of God, please keep on praying for him that he may keep on speaking the truth of the gospel. And there are many generals that the Lord has raised in the nation of Africa. Please, in the continent of Africa, please pray for them. In Jesus' mighty name, God bless you so much for having time to listen to this message. May the Lord remember you. May the Lord keep you. This is your brother Washington, and I will keep on bringing such messages as I get them. Shalom, shalom. Amen.